breakthrough tonight in the ongoing duel with gray hair. Scientists believe they've cracked the code, uncovered a way to make gray hair actually reverse itself. Here's Sharon Alfonsi. Half of all 50-year-olds are half gray. And the cover-up? Rich color, zero grays. No one invited gray to this party. Is big business. We spent more than $2 billion last year on home coloring products. No ammonia, no worries, and not a gray in sight. But now scientists have found a new ingredient that one day could be added to your hair products to help really turn that silver back to its original sheen. Researchers at New York University have restored these gray-haired mice to their original bushy black brilliance. How? Well, your hair color is determined by two things working together, hair follicle stem cells and color-producing stem cells. If they stop working together, your hair goes gray. But now researchers have identified a protein called Wnt. It's the pathway between the two stem cells, and they figured out how to turn it on to get those cells working together again. So gray hair is restored to its natural color, like in the mice. Mice and human hair are very similar in the way they're structured, so it definitely can be applied at some point in the future. Good news for workers worried about the so-called gray ceiling, age discrimination in the workplace. But the silver stigma might not have the same sting on the social scene. My hair started really turning color when I was 25. In a non-scientific experiment we conducted at GMA, Gail Cohen, a young widow, posted two ads on an online dating site, one with gray hair, one as a digitally enhanced brunette. 75 men responded to her gray hair and 55 to the brunette pics. Not surprising to Gail. I really had more confidence in myself with the white hair than I did with the dark hair. I'm just so used to being the way I am. A counterintuitive response there in GMA. So the big question, is it permanent? Well, unfortunately it's not. You would put it on your hair, and as right. long as your hair is attached to your head, it's going to be your natural color. You're not going to get roots or anything like that. That's the good news. But if the hair falls out, and remember we lose like 40 to 100 strands of hair every day, the next one that pops up, you'd have to treat that again. Uh, so not completely permanent, but better than a dye. Okay, well, so far lucky mice, I guess, <laughs> if they care. Thank you, Sharon.